Hello ladies and gentlemen, Holotide here, and today we're going to talk about if Halo Infinite can recover from all the missteps that has, you know, kind of plagued the game since launch, and it's kind of ironic that we're looking back, um, you know, even I posted a video about Dr. Disrespect, you know, kind of being wrong in the first couple months uh, about how the game would just die out without no BR, and man, hindsight is 2020. but before we get into that, if you guys can, make sure you subscribe to the channel. I upload a bunch of Halo content, and literally 96% of you aren't subbed to the channel. What are you doing? I would very much like to hit 10k, so please go ahead, sub to the channel. I promise you won't be disappointed, but let's get into the video. So Halo Infinite released, and everybody was pretty happy. You know, it was a good time. There's They called it a beta and everything. We all thought, you know, when the actual game releases on the 8th of December, there will be like a patch or whatever to kind of update, you know, all the missing features, things like that. There were things that weren't in the game that we assumed would be, and man. And now here we are going on to five months since the release, and there has not been a significant content drop or even the roadmap. And the roadmap, I think, is something super important. I know that 343 communicates a lot in their blog posts. They've just posted one about anti-cheat and stuff like that. And while I do appreciate those posts, they're very wordy. And I feel like it's just, I don't know, it's not as interesting as i think it would be if we got a roadmap at this point in time now joe stain did say that they were working on it and that they wanted to solidify plans or whatever it is to you know not disappoint people but i think the longer that you wait the more you are disappointing that fan base i really believe that the communication between devs and the player base even if it's negative should be constantly open because you're setting expectations. Even though it's negative, you're still gaining the respect of the player base to talk about it. And I feel like there's a more positive outcome overall when you do that. Season number two does not start until May, and that is still, you know, two months away. And that is unfortunate uh, because I feel like a lot of people um, are burnt out of the game because it's just... you. Like, I, I like to play BTB. I like to play all aspects of the game, you know, ranked and just social. But BTB, I probably enjoy the most in this game. And it's the same three maps. Sometimes it's the same map, you know, two times, three times in a row. And it is. It does, it does burn you out to keep doing that. And right now they said that in their blog post there was only going to be one arena map and one BTB map. And ugh, it hurts, man. But hopefully maybe with Forge... What they're doing right now is, you know, there's private flights out. So maybe if we get lucky, there will be like a forge map or something that's like really well made that they can incorporate into the season. That would be ideal. Now, from all of this, you know, missteps and stuff, we've gotten a lot of discourse over social media, especially Twitter. There are a ton of people just constantly tweeting about either the game being dead, the game being dead right now but can come back, the game needing a BR, the game needing this, the game needing that. And although I agree that the game needs something, I, numbers don't lie. And, uh, you know, even from my personal experience, I definitely reined in how much I play the game just because I don't want to completely ruin it for myself and I think that that's something that a lot of other people should be doing instead of forcing yourself to play something that you're not enjoying go play something else and just come back but I do think that the game needs something and we've had a bunch of leaks recently about a brand new huge game mode I just hit my desk I'm sorry that is gonna have battle royale elements but is not technically a battle royale you know looks more like an iteration of warzone from halo 5 and i think that's awesome i think that the game needs something big and new i think a lot of people just assume a br would be amazing but i really do think that they're going to try to you know evolve what that is and what that game mode means to halo which i think is perfect i think they should do that Another issue is the Halo TV show, and a lot of people are upset. I've seen so many people on, you know, Twitter and YouTube talk about how Halo is going woke, and it's a political drama and stuff, and it's ridiculous to me because that's pretty much what the original Halo games are. I understand that you may not agree with that, but the whole dynamic of, you know, the Covenant, it's all, I don't know, Oni and UNSC stuff, it is, but... 
I'm very worried that the core fan base of Halo is going to just absolutely hate the show. Even if it is good, I feel like they're going to hate the show, you know, by default. And in turn, that's going to hurt the show for, you know, casual people who are just watching it to watch it because it's something new. Because they vaguely know what Halo is, and they're going to have all these people say it's terrible, it's awful, and... I think that that's going to be a turnoff. The The Halo community can be its own worst enemy sometimes, and uh, it's really disappointing. But I the show comes on in like three days, I think, the 24th. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. So maybe we'll do a review of that. Uh, it's hard to do show reviews on YouTube because you get dinged so fast, and Paramount has been very quick to strike, you know, um, anybody that's uploaded stuff. Even me, I uploaded a video, and it got you know, a uh, copyright thing on it, and it killed the video. So, sad, but it is what it is. So maybe we'll do that, but all in all, do I think that Halo Infinite can have a comeback? Of course, it's possible. You know, there are a couple examples of that in gaming, but I, I don't know. I really don't know, because I feel like it kind of had its opportunity with the launch of the game, and I don't think that they're going to get another opportunity like that unless they they come with some huge, you know, content drop that's Forge, Campaign DLC, a bunch of new maps, new crazy game modes and stuff, you know, custom game browser, basically a relaunch of the game. And I just don't know if that's what they want to do, so... If you all enjoyed the video, make sure you leave a like down below. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe, and I will catch you in the next one. Peace.